Let's start with uh, a debate crypto TA staple. Uh, the bigger the base, the higher in the space. <laughs> Dude, so I love it. <laughs> it, it, it. If you look at the Bitcoin two day chart, if I pull this up right, right here, okay, you know, you're going to see Bitcoin in a base. It hasn't really done anything since June, okay? And it's starting to pop its head out of the top of this base. Now it's not fully there yet, but uh, it's percolating. Now, what goes up or down a certain way reverses in the same fashion. So high school physics, speed, magnitude, and direction. Interesting that in March of 2022, Bitcoin goes straight down, makes a base. Therefore, if it comes out of the base, it should go higher in the space potentially retrace the hold down move to 48k so that's chart number one and then chart number two is this gigantic disconcerting diamond formation in eth versus bitcoin this seems to be a very convincing breakdown out of the bottom of the diamond formation diamonds are hugely powerful patterns part of me hopes i have this wrong but this shows that Ethereum could dramatically underperform Bitcoin or Bitcoin could make some huge leap forward relative to the rest of crypto. So I'm like, all right, bigger the base, the higher in the space, and Bitcoin could do better than everything. How do I figure this out? Over to chat GPT. Okay, currently there are $17 trillion in uninsured deposits in the United States. So the Fed's doing two trillion. That's cute. <laughs> All right, seventeen trillion dollars in uninsured deposits. Okay, no, I right. That is crazy. And I say, all right, you know, this is a good old fashioned bank run. You got seventeen trillion dollars on a hair trigger. Going, where can I go? Right. That's why stocks might have a bid temporarily. Right. They're like, oh, just get me anywhere but a bank. Okay, so I asked the computer, if 10% of that money goes to Bitcoin, what happens? So $1.7 trillion in Bitcoin buying over a nine-month period. So ChatGPT, because it's a computer and it doesn't know any better, it says, all right, well, if the price is 24 k and you need $1.7 trillion worth of it, that's 70 million Bitcoin. And I'm like, well, the computer knows. It's like, hey. There's only 21 million. And I bet only 10% of that is available for trading based on volume stats at Binance. Okay. So ChatGBT comes up with one upside target based on this. It says, all right, if everyone really buys, you get an absurd target of 264K. Okay. The lowest case scenario that it came up with, interestingly, was 18K. Right. So, you know, if there's a problem with SP or, you know, all these things that could definitely happen, I'm really interested that it came up with 18K based on this thing about the deposits. Now, it's middle scenario. Okay. Which is to basically say, all right, you know, it could go way up or it could go back to 18. But the middle of the road scenario, if everybody who's got a bank deposit has to FOMO into Bitcoin, it's 84K. Now, I can dial it back because, like I said, returning back to, you know, ChatGBT is just a computer. It's interesting, right? It thinks 84, and I got the bigger the base, the higher in the space to 48. So, okay, maybe, yeah, we're going to have consternation in the stock market for sure. But after you get that dip, right, after you get that flush in stocks, assuming it's not a calamity, I mean, there's a lot of money looking to chase Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin gets out of this range, man, the cat's going to be out of the bag. And that's how I came up with what I came up with.